Last time on Fat Boy's Garage, we began with our starter replacement project. First, removing the starter. If you need to see how to get this far, please visit the video description and view the air intake box removal video and the starter removal video. With that, we're gonna get going with our install process. Before we get started, there's some tools and parts you're gonna wish you had. This one's a little obvious, but you're gonna need a new starter. Remember to click the link in the description, it'll take you right to the one we're using. The kit comes with the starter bolts, but you're gonna want some anti-seize. Then there's your small swivel ratchet. You'll be able to use a 10 millimeter, get in through the space, and tighten the bolts down with ease. And of course, we're gonna use our modified E12 wrench from last video. We're gonna use that to get into those tight spaces and take the bolts down all the way. I know, it's an expensive wrench to modify. Get out the anti-seize. We're gonna put a little dab on the dowel before we slip that starter in. Move some hoses around and slip the starter in. The dowel should be in and the two surfaces flush. And next, we're starting the starter bolts. Make sure to use any C's and don't take them down all the way. We're gonna start with the upper left bolt. Okay. So we're putting top left. Now, you'll want to thread in the bottom right bolt. There it is. To be clear, this is what you're seeing. Once you have them started, go in with your swivel ratchet and tighten them down. The swivel ratchet and 10 millimeter can be used on both bolts to take them down. Once you've maxed out your swivel ratchet, you'll need to get your modified E12 wrench, which you can use to get in and tighten them down all the way. Everything is down tight and we can move on. Next, we're gonna be connecting our wires. This little wire goes down below. Small wire. You have a little 10 millimeter nut. Starter's all connected, everything's tight. Check your connections. Remember, this is gonna plug into the bottom of your air box. This is gonna plug into your SMG reservoir on the air box, if you have the SMG, of course. A side note and recommendation from us. In the left side is the stock Odiger clamp that keeps the intake boot on the throttle body. On the right is an aftermarket replacement we highly recommend using these because they're much simpler to use and you don't need a special tool like you do with the Odiger clamp. Make sure you purchase these and don't go and buy some standard one like the one on the right here. See how much thicker that is, you're more likely to bind things up and you don't want that. So go in the description and you can get these clamps here. If you do have the SMG transmission, make sure your reservoir fluid levels are good before you take off. Link in description for the fluid if you need it. For the sake of time in this video, we're gonna skip procedure on installing the air box. If you need help with that, please refer to our other video in the description. Hit the subscribe and notifications button for more Fat Boys Garage.